side, and with all of that going on, Corey has found a very small moment to slip through the gap into A. Chemicals is able to find a frag here on the B bomb set onto Zachary, but Baby Bay is what remains. Recon Bolt takes him out, and he's going to fall as well. But in the meantime, Spike has been planted, and I talked about Baby J. Well, he's got it literally all to do at the moment. Uh oh, he has the Ang. They're slowly looking at it, but now Baby J. With only 38 HP coming up from behind. You still gotta watch out for one player right in the middle of sight. It's gonna be Corey. Baby J finally coming up from behind, getting the kill. Rockus! No, he's here trying to help out Corey. Corey with a double spray down. Has to get another one on to Jonah P to make it work. But now Baby J, now the last person remaining in 1v2, has to break down the gate. And the gate is gone. Going up on the SMGs. Wow, they actually no do want to push Baby Bay just from around the corner. Free SMG back for Baby Bay and Baby J. Another pick over towards mid. And at the exact same time, it's actually Chemicals. Chemicals going to go for a pick. Drill going in for a double gangsta at the same time with another double for himself. And they're out. Pistols for the three that ended up going down. And so Face Clan, this full buy, it should be all theirs. But Baby J, I thought for sure had a lineup, but he's only able to manage one. Ooh, still phase picking away from the mid side. It's unreal again, that immortal. Finally, and Chemicals, he's got the out here. He had 30 kills in the last, and oh, dashing forward, he's going to get punished because of it. Oh, and still, one more player on the front line trying to help out his teammates, Gangsta. He was barely able to sweep up the ashes. He was only able to get one. And it's only going to be one. No, never mind. Gangsta with two. He gets himself a second drive through the nebula, and it's still a little bit of a transfer from phase over towards the middle of sight. But again, job's not done. It's still a three on three. Baby J with the first contact. It's actually the turret with the first contact, technically, but Baby Bay still here, trying to help out off the Phantom. Oh. Still able to get another pick. Rockus with a shock dart lined up over towards Heaven. Gangsta cannot find his target. And he's going to expend both of his shock darts for it. Gangsta pinked. Rock is same thing. Still have Baby J over towards A main and Gangsta. The only thing he can do really is just get pressured. Look at the lockdown going in at the same time. Gangsta is essentially out in the open with this type of lockdown. He's finally going to be able to ping out the guy over towards the right side. And is Rock is able to go away. Gangsta, him staying here for this long. We could see an exit or two. No wide swing oh response. My. Oh, but there it is. Leaves chemicals there to play the op role, and he's going to rotate back at least, I think, towards mid to try and support his team, as that's kind of the only gap right now that Immortals have. And yep, indeed, him and Gangsta together. As the Aldrone goes out, the info was played, and now they know where this op is, and while shot up alongside Gangsta are looking for a big punish off of a massive ult. Oh. And again, Jonah P trying to help out off of that ulti with a wide swing over in mid, but not able to catch anything. Go to run away from phase. They abandon the mid side almost immediately, but they are already back. Regaining that control, but again, they're reaffirming essentially their take without one incredibly important agent. Again, no nebula, no smokes. It's really just going to have to be a little bit dry if they do attempt to go over towards A. And cat control is super, super important for this type of situation. Oh my god. Oh my word. There goes the control. But can Corey actually do anything with it? Yes, he can. A couple of spams over towards the right side. And oh true goes down. Corey. Corey's having away. Third from Corey. Gangsta and Chemicals, now the last run, last two remaining in a 2v2. Rockus, up close and personal. He's the last one remaining. He jumps up top, oh! but the spray is not there in Chemicals. They want to continue this momentum, but again, the round wasn't won at all. We're not even talking about Immortals. If they can continue their fragging prowess. There goes Jonah P getting up that first kill. True is still trying to help the Hunter's Fury, oh, certainly. Uh-oh. Hunter's Fury clearing out the middle of sight, and as the dust settles, Sully... And it's only a 2v2 once again. But Baby Bay, he has the perfect gun, the perfect rifle for someone that is only down to 7 HP. And just like that, him taking control, here are the defensive spawn. Well, this gives him every single look. It gives him full recon exactly. of the rotation yeah. from Immortals. No. They have to go all the way back through Cat. It's a 2v2, Sully. Rockus is going to know where the hit is coming from. He should be expecting either mid-market, and I think even Baby Bay's very much prepared for that. He's got the angle, got a chance, no dash, so he needs to hit a shot here and try and find a way to escape. Both players approaching, and well, 
Crossfire held. Baby Bay doesn't miss those shots. Now Chemicals, can he find his blades out? Oh my gosh. Close. Right click goes in. He's going oh, for the second. No. This is the shot. He's oh. 7 HP. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Immortals at least have recently kind of competed in tier 2 tournaments, so that's where I was talking about that experience. And well, again, you hope Whoa. that it shows Gangsta. Good to at least find one. I don't know if they saw Corey rushing Ooh. on in. Chemicals missing a critical shot, and well, there's more to follow. Jonah P. He's still looking here for something in Chemicals. He's, he's got gonna it. be able to get one, but there's still more to find. Holy Immortals! It's like five site. times. To I'm, really I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Chemicals. He's gonna do it again. He's getting aggressive, and oh. he's got one again up the up. And look at this. Immortals aggressive in that post winner, if you want to call it the retake. They're going again here towards a main. Three players flash ready for Jonah P. And I think Trio might be looking for a deadly, deadly swing. Corey up top. We know how good he is here, but is he good to find a punish? No, he's not. Oh, if that was committed, if. If Corey had committed to the peak, he would have definitely got a kill there. Oh but it's my. because of that that Immortals has more space. It's Jonah P that has a buddy next to him. And it's the buddy system that could potentially work for a trade here in A-Main. Rock is now the last Rock time he's going to 1v4. He's going to be able to get three! Oh, what a spray from Rockus! Rock is now in a 1v1! Chemicals hasn't shot yet! Chemicals finally shoots! Rockus now has an angle into sight. He has the path. He fakes it. Oh. Chemicals gets the shot in the 1v1. But on that clutch, it's two more rounds to end the half. And a chance to strike back is, wow. Chemical shot doesn't land. And Baby Bay's going to find a kill. Cho's not going to go. And Corey. he's going to try to find the punish. There it lands. And Corey instantly opening up with two alongside Baby Bay. It's a phenomenal start to the Nico round. Hey, great job to the Observer actually catching that one. I'll be completely honest. 3v5 now. Jonah P over on the corner. He's going to be able to get one into oh, Zachary. Wow. Corey now over on stairs has the lineup. And Babe. His team is, but even that, it's not the best of buys. As you can see, one on a Spectre. And well, they're trying to make the most of it by getting really aggressive. No, it's a burst over towards the B site. But everyone else is on A. It's still going to be the two-man crossfire. Out goes Corey over towards huh? the back line. Taking down Truo. How does Corey even get there? I think he came out over towards Cats. It's still flanked in. That one made no sense, no though. That is zero sense, but Corey's still there. He still ends up getting the kill. Phase Clan, although an unfortunate start over in B main, and a man disadvantage. They're still here. They're still fighting. Corey with the wide swing through the cosmic divide. Thought that he was slick and taking down Gangsta. Gangsta now down at 21 HP because of that shock charge. Though the timing from Rockus. Rockus is going to get two. Zachary in a 1v1, but not able to close it out. Pops in both those swarms posted in front of B main. This is gonna be so tricky on the post, but there's no util to slow this push down, and will Immortals, they compiling on in. Rock is doing the best he can, but eventually he's excavated as well. Four players remain, and Immortals sit quietly on the site. And that's all they're gonna do. Chill out like sitting ducks until we eventually see these players from oh, Faze try to approach. What a flash! Oh, hell oh, yeah, Jonah word. P! The communication was shot up as all too perfect, but again, it, it almost feels too simple. But even then, when a nice little response considered an interaction, that's considered an angle. So uh, your opponents just hold on. Folks, here we go, though. It is yet another round going in very quickly. It's Immortals in their very first very fast take. Four players over towards the middle of sight, and it works out perfectly as they finally get the spec. Uh, the spike down. Watch out for the crossfire over in Cat. No, that's smoked oh. off for now. Gangsta, not gonna spot the flank. The timing, there it is. Baby Jake might be coming in from behind. Jonah B with a point blank guiding light, and he's still able to get one out of it. Not exactly a second, but the flank is fully inbound. But Baby Bay has exposed himself. But this is good. The empty pressure from Baby Bay. He could stick around here for a while, but instead he goes out on his own. At least to try and slow things down a little. The Seekers, oh, the oh, Seekers! Wow. But they still get kills. Baby J is still able to get one back on the Jonah P. He's fully flashed. Rock is with a second. Oh. Corey with one last bully. He decides to go for the wide swing into Gangsta, but Gangsta still somehow staying alive. The Nova Pulse flashing oh. one in the middle of sight. Baby J with a dash. Chemicals! Oh. Can't get it done! Baby B through the smoke. Takes down the other Jets. And a little bit of a happy dance in the middle of sight for sure. The not so nice score of six to nine gets upgraded to a seven to nine. Face Clan is back. There you go, thrifty for Face the Sheik. It almost faded out a little bit of util, but right as that happens, it is an A take. Oh. Zachary from oh. the corner. Oh. It's 
so easy for Zachary. He's able to get three. Jonah P and Gangster are now the last two remaining in a 2v5. And Zachary, still trying to hold the angle, not going to be able to get anything. Corey, first seeing out of the nebula. He's only able to get one, but one is really all that he needs because it's only one left of the other state to at least prevent this mid push. And if they want to, they need to be very quick and a reroute to instead of the hands of Corey. He's still going to watch out, right? Corey still around the corner with a little bit of utility. Still has an extra satchel if he wants to escape all the way back oh, over wow. the Lord's A. But it's still Baby J all alone in B. Again, those frags don't really matter. It's going to have to come down to the A interaction. You have Corey in the back line. Baby Bay, what an angle, but nobody's actually going to approach. Cat is wide open. Corey now readjusting, watching out for the drop in heaven. Oh, and he's oh, able to get two. Shut up, now the last remaining in a 1v4. And it should just be curtains. Shut up. He's been a hero before. Again, this one is uh, quite the tall task, but an overheal helps. 1v3. Two players playing crossfire in sight. Shot up is still looking out for what might be a rotator. Rockus has gone all the way out in mid. Again, shot up has no util, no dismiss, no heals, no Michaels being a very important piece to the anchor, a very important piece of the rotation. Oh, wow. But in comes the actual take. Corey with an early showstopper. Tries to pull it off in short, but nobody's there. Out goes the TP. Out goes the Hunter's Theory. Jonah P still able to take down Corey on the way in. Cosmic Divide to try to help out this retake. Baby J. Chemicals right in the middle. <gasps> Baby J has. Oh, Baby B's right in the middle. He has three players to aim on, and they all pop out at the same time. It's so unfortunate. But now it's Zachary in a 1v3, and he's not even going to try to take down the planner. It's a very long winded 1v3. He's going to try to utilize this Cosmic Divide as a 50-50, but it's not going to happen. Whoa, 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 but look at the take. It's going to be Seekers immediately. They find one over in Wine. They're going to focus on him. they finally able to get uh, get Baby Bay back, but more importantly, Baby Bay was still able to get one before he went down. Paranoia early, but it's not able to hit anyone. Corey down to 19 HP, but Zachary goes out for the wide swing. Trill going alone. It's dry for Trill. How is Gangsta still able to get that kill? And with 37 seconds left, this Bam. man can just vibe out. Gangsta still had that over and he could be able to spray. Oh! oh! Gangsta! They have placed one person on contact duty. Early Hunter's Fury. Early, early Hunter's Fury. And it combines with the updraft of Baby J. Oh, Baby... Oh, I'm sorry, Baby Bay. Baby J still up in the front lines. Able to get a kill off the Spectre. What a combo in B main. And it turns into a death trap. Yeah, there's so much to do, though, Baby Bay. Running out of knives in that final kill. And well, Zachary, he's even going to find a wall bay. 2v3. Flash is going to be broken. The lineup That's is it. perfect for Rockus. We'll have scraps to play with Immortals with a little bit of a cushion. Oh, baby, babe. Two Jeez. shots so, so quick and Again. true. Okay. He's okay. with some of his own. What you can do, I can do better. And Immortals are striking the gold mine on the B-bomb site. <laughs> <laughs> they they shouldn't they shouldn't have gotten oh a word. gold mine or whatever you want B. into the back of sight no way they expect this zachary's gonna be able to get the kill true oh true oh with the spray through the wall that was nuts he got so much damage onto zachary down goes the plant and oh, there goes the wide swing from both Corey and of the upselling podcast we continue it's the very last round of regulation immortals trying to make their way through a default, it seems. They do have one contact over towards mid, but no smoke. In comes a very, very quick take. The guiding light up first. In goes the dash. Zachary. He does get flashed out, so he has to focus up on the eye. Oh, Corey. He's <gasps> getting get ready it. for the showstopper, but he can't go out, so instead he has to go over towards heaven. Does he even have time? Corey coming in. No, he's not able to get anything from it. Still a two on three. They have to watch out for Cat. You do have Baby J taking down the gate. And Chemicals and Truro both lit up. Baby J looking for a peek over in Jenny. Oh. Chemicals, what a tight angle. And he's still able to get the kill onto Baby J. That one could do it, but it has to be Rockus again to be a hero in a 1v2. But it's Truro. Oh, they've made an advancement towards market. They're going to have to rely. They being immortals, relying on only a singular player if come back the contact is true but there you go the double back double back for baby bay baby bay has one person just around the corner but it's gonna be jonah p immediately with a flash case that goes out and he's able to clean it all up three kills for immortals and one fell swoop over and cat and cat has been completely exposed now baby j baby j's done chemicals hurt him
Corey now in a 1v4. Double satchel. Shot up around the corner. Paranoia in his face. He is... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, Chemicals actually doesn't have a gun. This, this is a little awkward. This is very awkward. So Chemicals now with nothing but a classic. There's a gun. Well, he's going to be able to pick up his teammate's weapon, so that's good. But unfortunate that that pick ends up going through. Just an awkward scenario. But in we go. It is Corey playing around the nebula. Popping out at just the right time. Getting such a needed pick here for FaZe. As now they begin to stretch out a little bit over on that A side. And what I mean by that, Baby Bay with no armor is posted up up in wine. And Corey with that first contact. And Cat, it's going to be only a singular contact. He is down and out. They have no idea what's going on over towards A. So it's just about 45 seconds left. They're rotating. Yeah, they have no idea. And I mean, I actually look at this for FaZe. Rockus is deep into B main. Is this an Zachary. oversight that Immortals don't check? Rockus here in the drop, here in the swing. He's got one. There's a second for Zachary, and there's still more to find chemicals on 26. I said that was it, but no, my word, chemicals. 26 HP and a hope. Baby Bay. Again, no armor. Rockus, he has everything to work with except for util. Out goes chemicals. One body shot should do it. Oh, no. There's no flashes, though, to play Where's with. There's the flash. Too, looking for the <laughs> swing. It's a huge Whoa! flash that's going to be disrupted. The and there's Baby Bay. Picks up a rifle and immediately finds two. Oh, that stinks. In all honesty, that absolutely stinks for Immortals. They had the right idea. They had two, they had two characters with flashes. They throw out the Guiding Light early. Guiding Light gets destroyed. They can't approach with it. And Baby Bay is just better, isn't he? Corey, I thought he was going to get the second there as well. True, now looking for the late swing. Baby Bay drawing attention. And Can't do anything about this either. Baby J just has to hold on to this corner Lovely. and hold on to a couple of frags potentially. Baby J cannot get a second, but this time has delayed a little bit for FaZe to be able to rotate over. Indeed, they are here. Baby Bay is all the way on the other side of the map. He hasn't even committed to rotating yet. So instead, the rest of FaZe... Very much sticking around that mid side. They are splitting off back into market. At least two of them. Time is slowly dim dwindling. That smoke is going to dissipate in just about five seconds, five to ten seconds. And there's going to be a little bit of time for Rockets and Zachary to go out. All three players are here in market. Chemicals in a perfect spot. He's sitting right in the middle of logs. Shot up had that first contact. Out goes Chemicals once again. He has a second angle as Corey comes back. Baby Bay's going to be able to get another kill. Making a second for Baby Bay. Still trying to rush on. Get true. Two more remaining as now Gangsta and a 1v2. But time has almost completely ran out. Corey has no chance. And just like that, the round is over. Swarm. Oh, and a great spot. But the turret was more than ready. Ends up pinging out chemicals as he tries to go for the peak, and Baby J was ready for the wide swing. And now B site could be could just be wide open. Baby Bay, no! Could be able to get two! Make it three. No. He's not even able to get one. Baby Bay ends up getting held back. Now the one person who was here on site, it was Gangsta. He backed out immediately. Baby J still sitting back over towards B main. Corey with the off angle. Getting two, and that is it for the round is Baby J. You know, when when we saw chemicals going positions, but it's literally everyone. FaZe is on a full rotate back over towards A, and they are calling this out. In goes the actual take, though. Immortals, they do have at least one person in the middle of sight. But again, that fast rotation from FaZe just means that bullets are going to be flying this entire time. There goes the double ping right in the middle of Jenny. Chemicals! He's going up with the guiding light, but the guiding light comes in late. What an idea. Four more players remaining for both of these sides. Again, they try to go for yet another heaven-wide swing. The setup over on Cat is about to get broken down as now there's two players there. Shot up is on the front lines trying to fight it. Nobody from heaven has executed yet. That turret is still behind the smoke. Shot up is oh, going to go down. Baby, 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 J both with kills. Chemicals holding it back. One in heaven. Jonah P needs more than one, but it's not going to get more. He's haven't played Breeze at all, but it's these two teams that need an awakening anyways. They need a new light. Oh. In we go. It is Breeze to open up our second map. It is Chemicals to open up with a big kill on the ABJ, the A side is wide open. And Shiro is going to continue to push this back line. 
Both the duos are going in, even with chemicals. They want to take the fight straight to phase plan, and they are going to give it to them if Corey's not going to respond first. He's going to find one. Baby Bay looking around the other side of that wall, and unfortunately, he goes down as well. Phase clan, there is no response. As so far, the Reyna in this pistol round so deadly is able to get that overkill, and there's still more to come. Yep, shot up is still going. You still Corey getting tapped away, and shot up. It's a little crazy. It's a little bit crazy. But, uh, well, the marshals certainly work out early, except it's actually for Immortals. It's going to be an early pick from Chemical, taking down Baby J. Now watch out in the back line. It's going to be three. Corey with a big pick onto Truo, and the symphony of marshals begin to sing. Corey not able to get that pick onto Chemicals. I really thought that he was going to be able to, but... Let's still go back, Chemicals. Oh Ends up missing gosh. on the shot, and it's working. Baby Bay and Zachary playing the long game, and they're able to get the kills. Oh my word! Gangsta is done. Baby J with a double. Yeah, 10, eight, uh, What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, Baby Bay. He's, he's got he's got the semantics. He's got the little antics, and well, okay. And Mortis are here Ooh. to respond quickly. One thing that I that I love from that clip, just to jump back, we have a moment. Is like the little the. <laughs> like he he swipes four times to make do a full 360. How it just sounds like relatively low. It's gotta be. It's gotta be crazy low for four swipes to do one 360. ahead. <laughs> oh man. Well, folks, back we go. Back into the server. There's already been a lot of action over towards B main, but that was just an elbow push from Phase being dissipated. Instead, it's a double back oh, to the east side where Baby J. Oh! Oh, Baby J using the Spectre like a Vandal! There's more, there's so much more, but Jonah P has put it down to just one. Raucous, can he clean up where Baby J was left off? And unfortunately, they really have everything they need. It's an early drone. Double eyes, actually. They're just gonna make this a very quick take. And indeed, it's enough to overwhelm the one pillar of defense. Yeah, over and over, Mortals have just been so keen to put so much pressure in that backside. And you leave Baby J, there's literally nothing he can do to put a stop to that execution and well now it's been facing this retake where they're in a 4v5 and all four players are kind of in the same area oh shot up getting spammed through and the molly certainly doesn't help out either oh shot up is still able to get a kill spray through the box just about 10 HP at the same time, too. Jonah P getting pinged out. Baby Bay trying to overwhelm with a couple of left clicks, but he only has one left. Needs a headshot, but he's not going to be able to find it. So instead, now it's a 1v2 shock to Rockus. Rockus with a deep shock dart, but it's not going to land. Jonah P is still alive. No, no, the snake bite missed, but Rockus has no time as he backs off of the... Zachary chilling around that perimeter, and out goes a very quick take from Truro, and there it is. Oh, he might be able to pick up a rifle there to try to take down Truro. But good trade back from his immortal teammates. How oh, does Baby Bay get a kill there? What even happened? Baby Bay with an early pick in mid, or from mid. As he takes down the spike carrier in the middle of sight in terms of shot up. But now Truro is possibly in the best position in comparison to his teammates. But no! No! Truro, the timing! He drops right in front of Baby Bay. So now in comes the retake. It's the lockdown. Chemicals. He taps away and he takes down Baby Bay. After Baby Bay gets another one sprayed out from Chemicals, but he's not able to find anything. And look at the look at the day mark. There's an early fight to be had here. Baby J looking more aggressive. He's gonna punish the Alpha Truro. Oh, and still Baby J is gonna continue his reign of terror. Oh this is a rifle round, Sully. It is a rifle round for a more here. Score wise and distance wise onto the site. Now this is the this is the site that Baby J has struggled with, right? He hasn't been able to hold it on his own. And I think it's smart that he backs away to the open arms of Baby Bay, who's good to find one on Truo. And Baby J still on the front lines. Ends up getting taken down by shot up and the mission for Baby Bay is backed out. But look at Corey. Look at Corey! Already from behind! He's gonna be able to get himself one, make it two! Corey blowing up the round! There's no immortals. They have a chance here, and his name is Jonah Dubs. P. No way! No way the owl drone pit! Just straight discipline. Once that first pillar went down, he wanted to go for a three-man retake and said, very well done! Oh! And the human! The human decoy is back, baby! 
Corey on the front lines, taking away the pressure from Baby J. Oh, was able to get my. two. And now Curry TP's back. Curry, Corey TP's back. And my, oh my, it is a cleanup of A main for FaZe. Hey, oh, he did it. That was literally just his hand. Pops out his hand, and now Baby Bane's gonna pop him two for the round. Turret to Nano swarms up, but look at Drew. Look at Drew. He's in the back sights. He has just double smoked himself. He gave himself a red carpet to waltz into the back of sight, and Drew is able to get the big kill. And still, Baby J, or Baby J, Baby Bay, over towards that mid side, he was able to get a big kill through double doors. And now he's wrapping back into A main, but now Chemicals, he's on his own flank. Trying to make his way up halls. This is big. But it's Zachary who's ready. And there's that flank that I mentioned. Baby Bay from behind opens it up with a big kill onto Truo. And now Gangs is the last one remaining in a 1v4. Baby Bay going up for the updraft. He drops immediately down, trying to get the kill onto Zachary. Baby Bay still hasn't oh. gone out yet. But the smoke dissipates. And Baby Bay immediately going top nest. This is perfect for Base if they can get these kills, but they dash away. It's a one for one trade already. Oh, Truo, so continuing his train in, but Zachary holding down the line with an immediate two kills. Baby J, so you gotta watch out for Gangsta over in Double Door. He's still playing around with the turret, and he just so happens to have a couple more bullets. Gangsta staying alive. Zachary and Rockus, the last two remaining on the other side of the map. It's kind of unfortunate for Gangsta, though. It is only a gust of wind that would be able to pull him down. Be a breeze of sorts. In goes the early shock dart. Zachary no. has an amazing angle. And he's gonna be- No! Oh, no, no, no! No! No way! No. But Zachary's still able to take down Shot Up! What? But that's still a mile away in Shot Up. We know how good he is in these rounds. Shock dart to go in. No damage found. But Shot Up is sure to get something if he dismisses uh. on out. And it's a late dismiss too. He's able to get deeper into sight. Gangsta still holding it back. And there you go. Immortals after the dust subsides. They're still equalized at a 3v3. Baby J playing around the pyramid. He's right in the middle. He lined it up. But Gangsta immediately with a trade. After all that action, Sully. Up down. They've got their knives out. But they're better no. with it nonetheless. Jonah P with a quick switch. And now Zachary, this is where maybe that util comes a whole lot in handy. He could have had the Viper Spit, but he's got two sh snake bites. Orb oh towards my. the back of spawn, and he's coming for a massive oh. flank, Gus. It's a massive flank where both Jonah P and Gangsta don't expect this by any means. Never, never. Zachary has lineups for for Oh, for snake bite two, and he goes, gonna be able to get one, spread onto Jonah P, and there goes the lineup for the snake bite, it lands right into the middle of sight, Jonah P is still going, and Zachary with a Red Bull clutch die, their economy is already just straight garbage here, Sully, and it's garbage time for Baby Bay, as he begins to sweep away the rest, Immortals, only have one person remaining in the middle of sight, make that two, actually, Truro trying to fight back, Baby J with a kill onto Chemicals, and Jonah P, one, V5, it's two more rounds for FaZe to finally make it through that finish line. And my, oh my, after a flawless round, Fa All it takes is one slip up from Immortals, and well, they've been forcing and forcing and forcing. What do their pockets look like? It cannot be great, but they have to give it everything they've got. And well, this is all steady. Jonah P with the Elder Flame. Is he the master? No, he's not. He's gone down. And Jonah P, he was the only line of the fence. Now FaZe could have the sight to themselves. And Baby J still so trying to sweep up that mid side. And that's a big kill. Is that the last pillar of defense that Immortals even has? Even near this B site, everyone coming from mid. It's a firing range for Baby J, uh, for Baby Bay. I'm sorry. I, I, again, I, I feel like FaZe did this intentionally to us. Baby J now over towards Elbow. The first big onto Truo. Truo has 20 HP, and it's over.